Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom quick tip video brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. If you want to follow along, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download a free trial of Lightroom so that you can play along with all of the videos that we're making. And let's get into it. Here's a quick tip for exporting to DNGs. The why and the how. So what is a DNG? Well, it is a digital negative file. When you import your files into Lightroom, hopefully you shoot them raw. Whether it comes in from your Canon, your Nikon, your Sony, your Olympus, your Pentax, whatever it is, as long as it's a raw file, you bring that into this computer. But many times you may want to save it as a DNG file, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Here I am. I'm in my develop module. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit export. And I'm going to go to export. As we can see, when we scroll down, it's set to JPEG right now, and I want it set to DNG. So I go ahead and I click DNG. I'm going to set it right now compatible to 7.1 and later. You could also set it to a much older Lightroom in case somebody has an older edition or older version of Lightroom, they would be able to open it as well. Now, what a DNG is, it is a digital negative file like I said before, but the great thing about it is if I wanted to send a file to you guys and have it retain my original edits or all of my edits, they're still in there when you go ahead and open the file. That is what's so great about your DNGs. Now, I wouldn't export as DNGs and then delete your original RAW files. I would probably save them both because you never know when you need to go back to the original original or have the DNG to send out. So it's pretty simple. We go ahead and do that. Let's see, use loss, lossy compression. No, I don't want to lose anything. I don't want to embed the original RAW file in this case. Or if you really wanted to, you could embed that as, embed that as well and have that. But I go ahead, I hit export and bam, it's exporting as a DNG file. It's pretty simple, but it's definitely something that's powerful to have, especially if you want to export your RAW files and save them as a smaller DNG, because let me say this about DNGs, where some of my RAW files may be 25 megs, the DNG file may be smaller without losing any of the quality that you have from the original. So that's where I'll leave it. That's a quick tip for exporting DNG files and why we use DNG files. And if you want to check out more Lightroom videos about the 30 for 30 Lightroom edition, go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can also download a free trial of Lightroom right there, and you can try it out for yourself and play along with all the files that I'm going to supply you. And that's it. Jared Poland from Photo.com. See ya.